Okay, let's have a look at Moonraker. Let's have a go. So I got this machine yesterday, as you guys know. £230, I think. No, £220. Uh, it had a uh, jam in the, in the payouts. But aside from that, it's working. I think it's in pretty damn nice condition. To say it's from the 70s. I'm going to guess 1979 based on the Moonraker thing. So, yeah. Well, the film Moonraker came out in 1979, so that's what I'm basing it on. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, got the nudge up, nudge down. So, yeah. <clears throat> nice look around the machine. So, as you can see, we've got, we've got like the T molding here, what needs sorting. We've got a bit popping away from here. Up. Uh, this comes off. But we're going to get this restored up looking beautiful. I suppose this looks better with this first. We, um, we're going to have it looking beautiful. Um, get all this team mold and replace, that's easy. Uh, I'm not going to replace the cabinet. The cabinet's in very nice condition to say it's 50 years old nearly. Uh, a bit on the top where I'm guessing people put their pipe pots. And uh, you can see it's had some. No, I can't really tell, but yeah, it's, well, actually you can see it look, look at the crack. But yeah, good enough for me, I think. I don't want to walk back off the stairs. Anyway, right. right. Let's uh, put some coins in. Well, put a coin in. One coin at a time. Five peer play, one pound jackpot, as it says, all wins now paid in cash. So this would be where the token uh, coin neck would have been. And go down, you can see that like, where on the inside, you can see where the tube would have been and where it's been removed and removed the solenoid and all that. Uh, five P ones as well. I'm guessing at some point, maybe it would have paid in five Ps. The only coin it pays out is uh, 10 pences, uh, which we can force by uh, getting 50 pence worth of change. Anyway, one coin at a time. So if we try and put a coin in, look, can't put the coin in. Can't actually physically put the coin in because the maximum amount of goes we can have stored up is two. You can hear all the clicking inside. Beautiful. Okay. Well, there's my money. Sweet. Coin on the floor even. Nice. Uh, so as you can see, the third reel is not 100% perfect. Um, some, sometimes it seems to not want to. Should we go for the pairs? doesn't tell you how many nudges you've got. Oh wait, it stepped. Oh, it must have doubled. Did it double step or did I press too many times? I, I guess I nudged the pair up too far. <laughs> and uh, it paid us a coin. Fixed it. Excellent. Well, let's put the 10p back in. Start. So yeah, so it might not be perfect, perfect. Like, like I say, it, it kind of struggles to stop that third reel sometime. Uh, I've never had this super start. Uh, I mean, obviously I've only had it for a thing, I've only put like a good couple of quid through, but this is my kind of first time playing it uh, properly. Anyway, oh no, we've still got a credit, haven't we? See, a lot of time it will stop perfectly, but not every time. We've got like a also reverse kind of start reels 
I wonder if it's supposed to be like that. I'm going to guess so. But yeah, particularly, I think this artwork is beautiful. I mean, name me a nicer looking electromechanical machine than this. Like, especially just specifically this bit of the machine. I love the, uh, the like chrome style, or I don't even know if this is chrome, I'm guessing so. I, I love it, that's why I love cash walls and, and fast track, but look at this. From electromechanical, and look at the imagery, it is really good. in really nice condition there's like very little wrong with the glass at all you'll struggle to find much of a blemish tiny tiny bit I think there will be a lot you can see like just a very tiny little bit but yeah Noble so I found a flyer Noble made some uh, uh, MPU machines apparently because I found a flyer for it Yes, microprocessor, you can get more, whatever. Oh, we're going to get 27 ways. Oh, look at this, we've got some melons here, surely. Hell yeah, did it pay out all five coins? You know it did. Hell yeah. Melons, everybody loves melons. You know what, it kind of, um, I guess, uh, I, I kind of wish that Cash Wars or uh, Switchback had the melons. I'd rather them have the melons than the pound symbol on the, uh, on the thing. Melons are just, I, I can't see a melon and not think of a fruit machine. So my, my, my other machines, I say, they don't have melons on them. It's odd. But that's our favourite of all cherry and I must admit look at these wheel bands these are really nice look at these these are really nice now I don't know if these are plastic or paper because uh, I was surprised when um, when I found out that a lot of these are paper but to me these ones look plastic but they are in beautiful condition oh actually look at that we can see a uh, <laughs> now that I've noticed it there is a like uh they, they could do maybe being cleaned looks like there's a like a blob on the melon there anyway this machine is bloody beautiful i paid 220 pound and the guy helped me get it up the stairs and he delivered it to me what more can i ask i mean i i was surprised and I, when i first saw it i was like oh my god this is like an absolute bargain but and, uh, you know, I was told that these machines don't really, you know, they don't really fetch that much. Well, I'm glad. Because, I mean, I don't want more. I've got one. This is all I want. I only want one of these. And find me one that looks nicer than this. In terms of, look at this glass. Yeah, I could stare at this all day. It, it, it looks beautiful. Anyway, I suppose some of you want to see me play it, don't you? So one thing I've got to say, right, is uh, I've recently got back into fruit machines. I've got three of them down. So, well, three. Oh, there we go. It's paying us some money now, isn't it? Um, you know, I've got those two downstairs. Do you want to go see them? Let's have a quick look. I know I said we're going to play the machine. We'll play the machine in a minute. Don't worry. We've got all day. Well, I've got all day. I don't know about you. Uh, so we've got Big Banker down here. This one's uh, faulty. Faulty power supply and a faulty motherboard. Bought it knowing that, uh, basically so that I could learn how to do all the things that I wasn't comfortable doing on this. Um, you know, like taking tubes in and out, um, taking reels in and out, board in and out, all these sort of things where I don't want to fuck anything up. So it's nice having a little machine to get familiarized on where it's not as important. But, you know, look at this machine. <laughs> I paid 200 quid for this one as well. Uh, £205 actually, 
205 pound exactly and again delivered to my door um uh, yeah but look at it it's in such nice condition and now that i've got it i want to bloody fix it i want to play it i want to play it uh but yeah here's my favorite here's my here's my uh here's my lovely this is cash falls i've had so much fun on this been playing the shit out of it absolutely playing the shit out of it i put like two thousand pound for it in the last month uh and for uh perspective in its 30 something years of life 1986 it's had eighty one thousand through it in total and i've put two thousand of that in the last bloody month <laughs> anyway uh i love cash holes yeah that used to be uh steve's machine steve from steve's routers uh who I've got to say a big shout out to because really I wouldn't have this machine if it wasn't him even though he had nothing to do with this machine I wouldn't have this machine it's uh, his videos that got me interested in this shit you know I mean I told the story before to my uh, I don't know who this video is going to but anyway I told my the story on my stream before you know uh, I have a JPM switchback in fact let me show you That's these are the bits that remain of it. We've got glass there, we've got glass there, and then we've got the big glass behind here. Yeah, that's pretty much what remains of it. And uh, yeah, I wanted one back for the last 10 years and then found a video for Fast Track after I bought some random fruit machine glass from a charity shop. Well, uh, uh, Super Nudge Gambler glass. No. A nudge gambler gas glass from a charity shop for like a tenner just because you know I love fruit machines and then got searching searched for switchback and found the fast track video and then watched it contacted Steve and actually Steve then contacted me and we've gone from there and since then I've ended up with three machines before I've even got fast track which I should be getting in a few weeks so I'm really excited for that I'm looking forward to meeting Steve. But yeah, anyway, the point is, is uh, Steve sparked my interest with his videos. Uh, he has a fantastic collection uh, and does some really great videos. He uh, seems like a really great guy. Um, uh, it's awesome. Uh, I've had a lot of fun getting into this hobby uh, and uh, learning about the machines. I've been bloody <laughs> sending Steve messages all the bloody time, trying to be like, oh, you know, what's this, what's that? I'm sure he's sick to the back teeth of me, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I love this machine. Uh, <laughs> I love the other ones I've got downstairs as well. I'm having so much fun with them. And yeah, can't wait to get my uh, proper one. But anyway, I've been rambling on. People probably want to see this bloody machine, and here's me with the coins. The machine's right there, and I'm just stuck talking. Come on, play the fucking machine, dickhead. Well, let's have a bit of a play. This machine's beautiful. Fully working. That reel, you know, it, it's not 100%, is it? But we can, for now, you know, we can we can live with that for now. And then, yeah, you know, maybe once we've had it for a bit and once we've restored all this, you know, like, you know, once we've restored this, uh, this all up, um, then maybe we'll think about, you know, also, I, I'd like to line the reels up better because, look, they're not, yeah, they're slightly off. I think they're not. Like when I'm stood here in front of it, they then. Uh, actually, I suppose no. This they're supposed to be kind of off because you're going to be stood close to this point. I, I think they need to move a few mil this way. Anyway, the problem is obviously we're going to get some jams in the coin tube because the the tube is old ten p's, but the. Uh, it's on new coins, by the way. <laughs> Interestingly enough, they've even converted the uh, 50p change thing to new coins as well. Uh, the tube has been modified, but only partly and badly at that. Let's hold the Moonraker for the jackpot, but we've also got the bell for the for the nine ways on 10p and 27 ways on whatever the old uh, 50p what do you think 
Come on, give us a Moonraker. Not this time. Oh, we've got some nudges though. Uh, so I can see pear, plum, orange. So let's go down it. Well, the nudge feature works. Every single one of these six buttons, they all work. I tested that. Uh, so I can nudge up or nudge down. The nudging doesn't feel perfect, but I mean, I guess it does its job, right? But uh, I am so happy with this. I, uh, I almost didn't buy it, you know. It, well, I mean, I tried to buy it uh, for 250 and the guy was like, oh, this, uh, you know, some, somebody's going to buy it. Yeah. And... Uh, then he contacted me uh, yesterday. Oops, still got another day. Contacted me yesterday and said, "Oh, that person's fucked him about. Do I want it?" And he messaged me like three times. Uh, uh, so I was like, "I do." <laughs> but then I had to think, "Okay, well, where am I going to put it? Uh, you know, do I want it? Like, you know, it's electromechanical. They get boring, right?" But I am so, so, so glad I got it. If you tried to pay me £500, I don't think I'd sell you this. And I've had it for a day. You could pay me... You, I wouldn't... No, I, I tell you now. You try and tell me, pay me £500. I'll tell you to fuck off. No chance. Oh! Tell you what. Hey, <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to... You're going to have to open a bank account to pay me for this. I, 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 this is staying with me. I only want one of these electromechanicals. This is the one I want. I like this one. So my mum used to go to the, this guy's nightclubs or something. Well, there's some interesting stories. It's giving us the money, isn't it? We'll have it perfect. We'll get that real absolutely perfect in time. And we'll get all this restored looking absolutely beautiful, pristine, if I can. Mm. Whoa. There we go. How sick is this? I'm sorry I'm not really playing the piano. I'm rambling all over. But luckily there's not, you know, we're not. There's not that much music for it to play over it, no jack jingles or anything like that, but yeah. Yeah, I still haven't sunk in that this is mine, I think, really. That I've, that, that. This is, I mean, fucking hell, this is from before I was born. And I'm old. I ain't gonna learn micro circuitry or anything like that to. Learn how to fix this as well. I mean, not that I'll be able to fix it when it goes wrong, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? It's beautiful. Yeah, you see, every now and then that reel just it it doesn't like, but it's stop. I think it's stopping in roughly about the right place. It's just every now and then it. I say probably what one in every. 10, 15 spins. It's like it just loses steam. Oh yeah, we've got the nine ways, 10 p up. Mm. We've got another, what looks like, I don't know what it looks like, maybe like a bit of oil or something. Well, it's not oil, but I don't know. I won't mind to clean that off the band at some point, but I'm gonna make sure I do that properly, I don't want to damage them. Ain't gonna find any more of these real bands. I love them. I love the little jackpot symbol. It's the main thing is look how attractive it is. I could just look at it, and the red comes through so nice here. I mean, if I was a James Bond fan, it would be a bonus, but I'm not really. <laughs> but I'm a fan of this root machine. I tell you that much. Yeah, you see again, it didn't quite. But you heard it lock at the end there. So. So it nudged twice there. So what should we go for? Oh, 
Oh, so it's timed. Ah, so the nudges are timed, not... Or it just ran out, I don't know. I'm still learning. So I guess the nudges are timed. That's why it doesn't. there's no numbers. It's just while it's going, ah, 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 you can nudge. Ah, okay. Kind of like cash flows then. I like it. I like it. Okay. So let me show you something else about this machine. But I think I'm the only person that cares about this stuff. But did you know that... I don't know if you're supposed to do this when it's turned on. I think you can. Look at these. These are your meters that tell you all your coins in, coins out. Your VTP, which I think means value to player, which I think is your percentage and all that type of stuff. Really fucking fascinating. That's also uh, where the cash tray is. Down in this side, right there. It's like a big, nice wooden cash tray. Well, two of them, actually. One you have to pull out with like a, a pulley. It's really, really cool. Yeah. And where's the coins? I'm pretty sure I only start, I mean, got some money, is not it? I think it says that it's on 96%. Which would make sense, I'm pretty sure I started with like a quid in my hand, well, not even a quid. Started with some money in my hand, and we still got money. Sorry, the reels look slanted, it's because my cam, I dropped this gimbal, as people on my stream will know. <laughs> I was in farm foods one time, and my buddy dropped it. It's not quite worked the same since. Oh, I thought we were on for our first ever jackpot on the machine. Not that it's going to make any noise or... Oh, you see, we, we can't get rid of that money, look, can we, look? It's, it's ready to give us some money back, isn't it? 